Hello, welcome back, friends. Uh, today we don't know this ribbon called the alignment. So don't don't forget to click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so it become a five point card video. The previous video was discussed about the uses of font and the uses of a clipboard. So if you don't check this and you don't understand them, so click in the description below. I have provided the, the videos of before all of them. And also if you don't understand the word ribbon, tabs, and the worksheet, also you can check in the first videos which is the introduction of Microsoft Excel. I will discuss them and you will understand very much. So let's look this alignment here. Let's start. The alignment it means that you wear your arrangement of your item in a cell you want it to become. So example here in the alignment you see this three here in the first one in the first line three one two three. This the first one is called top align. The second one is called the middle align and the third one is the bottom align. This means stand for vertical orders. So if I wanted to, let's, let's increase the size of this cell here, of this, let's say, row here. You see, their size is bigger. So if you wanted to arrange in the vertical order, let's say this time cell here, I wanted to change in the vertical order. If I click this, the first one, you say top align, you see where it is become. This is the second one, is middle align, and the third one, is bottom align if you have a cell big like this and you want it to align your things in the position just you can use these three things here top middle and the bottom line let's say we make the middle line the second line is still on the horizontal so if you wanted to arrange in the horizontal the first one is say that aligned left if you click this the item will become left after click this the middle one you see central central aligned means middle aligned at the central position you can say like that and this the third one is you can say this is the right aligned let's say choose this middle aligned. if i want more than one cell example to become like this simple i can highlight them and then i can choose what are the alignment let's say middle aligned at the center you see if i increase the size of this you see all of them become middle align at the central position as you see here and so on now it is arranged and the in the in this use of the six part also let's check this called the orientation there are different orientation you can use in the microsoft Excel. let's say we change the orientation of this item here. after that click the cell after activating the cell you can click this drop down menu you see there is a difference rotation you can choose, let's say, particle rotation. You see how it is arranged. Let's say this, I want to become, let's say, angle clockwise. You see, example, this one, I want it to become, let's say, let's say, vertical text. See, this is the difference of alignment. It will depend on the orientation. All the orientation style. You can use if you wanted to copy some data into the orientation or to make better looking of your microsoft excel sheet simply you can click here in the orientation part as you see how was used it so there is another things here it is called this tool this tool this one is called the decrease intended and this one is called increase intended you can use this tool to increase the, the distance, let's say, intended, intended stand for space. Example, this one, F here. I wanted to increase there. I wanted to increase their space at the left. Simply like you click this. You see how it is moved. Slightly and not the align. And if you want to decrease, just you can click this slight. So this is the use of, of these two intended. Use increase the size, increase the space, say space of size the space of the of your item in the cell hey, left or right this one this two you can use it also there this one is called wrap text how we can use this wrap text wrap text in first it is stand for that example you have um, the cell with many data or the longest one example i write this c vigorously so as to see you see this c one has long text 
the law the text do not feed the cell but instead it is moving into another cell but the all the things it is say c1 if i click the second cell if i click the d now i can put another data into d as you see if i click e i can put another data into e hub here if i click f i can put another data into f you see but all of them do not the all data you see the whole length is here but here it is not shown so what the option to use is this one wrap text click your cell that has long text then click wrap text you see the cell the all cell all the longest of this of the word is here you see but it is the bottom line you can say with a line see also this one you can do the same you see say here let's say this one also it's a middle this one is a, it is not long very long let's see this you see here you see how we can use the the wrap text and you can use the combination of more than one aligned together this is the uses of this is a wrap text also let's take this the last one before checking it please subscribe this channel and turn notification bell to all so as to not miss any coming video example here let's say i have this item here let's say i have title let's say like i say the the number let's say i have oh, let's 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 decrease the size first this so as to see how i can i can show the real things here how it is becoming real let's say here into this uh, i can use the same uh, table one let's say table one the table one here has many column and row. let's say i have of this one let's say names after that name let's say i have uh, into the names let's say i have names like and uh, in the names let's say i have uh, numbers numbers let's say like that you see but in the in the table i have name i have age let's say i have size let's say like this but this table is the title of of the this old data here so how i can use this as a title if, without this cell partition simple i can use this much and then if i highlight this all and then click the match center it means all the cell become one cell after become one cell and the particular item in this cell will become centralized it means match central as you see here after highlight them and click the match center you see the table is now in the center now and then it is center of all three cell as you see here and there is no line to separate one cell to another cell because this now it is only one cell after that let's say into them into the number here let's say now let's say here into name i have number and then i have the name of particular person let's say like that let's say i move this control x c let's say i move here and the size let's say i move here so I want the, the number, the name to have two positions. Let's say the number and the name of particular person. Simply I can use the same highlight then and then match central. Here into the number, let's say move this size. Let's say number here. I make the number. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say like that. And here after that, here I make the let's say the the name of people of people like say let's say i make the name like uh, lee j4 let's say cd then let's say mx let's say nm let's say mm this is the name of people let's say but I want the number and this cell to be together. But I want the number to be different to this cell. You see how the table is look like. 
about this one also I want it to be this in the in the table let's say margin details you see this how it is arranged so the beautiful of your table in the Microsoft Excel just a simple you can use the difference alignment that can help you to arrange your things or your data in the Microsoft and the Microsoft Excel I hope this style is most useful to many tables if you want to copy the same table to the style you can use this one so thank you very much and you don't forget to subscribe and turn notification bell into all also what i wanted from you to share this video this video is free so you can you can share to other people so as to access them so to to, to bind this video or to to embed this video into your blog or website you can use it so thank you very much.